So for all my tuber fans, if I'm wondering when I'm going to get my next project, I have been looking. Today I was able to uh, make a video of the car I looked at. The guy didn't object to it and totally was, he was willing to drive the car anyway. So anyway, um, today I looked at a 1953 Chrysler Windsor Newport and uh, I think his price was fair on the car. It just needed way more work than what I wanted to get involved with. So I got a little video of it here I'll put up and you know, saw how sh serious I was. I even took cash, ready to buy the car on the spot. So, anyway, we passed on that project. And it was about 200 miles round trip from going up to look at the car to, um, you know, to getting home. Tom Trammell went with me. He, he rode with me to check the car out. And uh, on the way home, we stopped and I got a little video of this mansion, cool old abandoned mansion, and uh, somebody might enjoy looking at the video. We did a walk around of that. And then uh, we stopped and looked at a couple more cars. So they'll, they'll be after that. So if you skip through the mansion part, there will be a couple more cars after that. But there was one car I found that I told the guy when he's ready to sell it, you call me and I will come out and buy it. It was a 1940 Ford that was street rotted back in the 70s, in the early 70s. It's been an Autorama. It was an Autorama show car in winter back in the early 70s. The owner of it passed away and the car hasn't moved since 1979. It does not have the flathead V8 and it. it actually has a late 50s Olds rocket in it with a chrome generator I mean, this thing was primo nice. It was a period correct street rod for that era. And the paint was nice, although it was, you know, it had a quarter inch of dust and dirt on it, but it was covered up. We did pull the covers off and open the doors and look in it. And uh, the brakes were not seized up. We could still roll the car a little bit. And uh, the engine was not stuck. And uh, it was really a car that you just leave alone, you just clean it up, get it in running order, go through the brakes and fuel system and just drive it as is. It was really a magnificent car. The only thing is, is the original owner's son wants to buy the car from him but can't come up with the money. And uh, he's promised him first dibs on the car and I totally get it. I understand it 100% of the way. So he's gonna call him up and uh, you know, see if he still wants the car, and if he doesn't, he said he'd give me a call, so I left my name and number, and you never know, I might end up with this 40 Ford that, really a beautiful old car, it was a, I didn't get any video, he didn't want me videoing in his place, and I get it, you know, some people just don't want that, they don't want their, you know, people to know what they have, so I respect that, so I didn't take any video of it, but it was super cool, it was done up, the engine was still painted up nice, it was not an Oldsmobile engine color, it was more like the body color on the car, the engine, with chrome valve covers, chrome generator, I mean, it had chrome reverse wheels, it had early 70s disc, disc uh, brakes on the front like you'd find on cars in that era, you know, from new, and uh, because, you know, disc brakes weren't starting to become common until the early 70s, so most cars of the 60s still had drum brakes. So yeah, so it was kind of a really cool car. I'd love to buy it. I told him if you part with it, give me a call. I can be there same day with cash in hand and I would take the cars off his hands. It was really a super unique, to find an, uh, a, a street rod or a hot rod, so to speak, of the early 70s, it's unmolested. It's been parked since 1979 and this is an untouched car from that era from when it was built back then so a very unique car love to have it so who knows maybe but anyway I've been looking I've looked at a couple other cars this Mustang convertible had rotted out rear frame rails you know it's just a lot of work when it's a convertible because you got to reinforce the undercarriage when you're changing that stuff and whatnot but anyway I'm just gonna upload the video of this uh, 53 Chrysler. It did have the 331 cubic inch two barrel with the Hemi. Uh, Hemi had engine in it. It had the fluid drive um, automatic with a clutch. 
um, basically a two-speed automatic. Um, it was it was a neat car for a person that wants that car. Like I say, I think he was asking a fair price for the car, but again, it was way more work than I, it needed. You'll see in the video it needed pretty much all a uh, frame off restoration to make it a you know a, a value, and I think that would exceed the cost of what the car is worth. That car was a put brakes and fuel system, go through the brakes and fuel system, make it roadworthy and just have fun with it as is. It was really a neat car. It's it really I don't think the car unless you sp specifically want a 53 Chrysler Windsor it was not worth the effort to, you know, the expense I should say, not the effort, but the expense of uh restoring it. It would cost more to restore than what the car's, you know, value of would be worth if you sold it as a restored car. So that's why I kind of passed on it. But it was really a neat car, and I, again, he was asking a fair price. So if you know if somebody's interested in it, if you can see the link in the Detroit uh, Metro Craigslist, and uh, just put in '53 Chrysler, and it will come up. So yeah, that's kind of about what we looked at today. All right, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere and just north of Kingston, Michigan, and this is a 53 Chrysler Windsor Newport. Yeah, it needs chrome, needs paint. It's had body work done here. You can see where the car's been bondoed in. This would be normally a joint because this panel bolts onto this. So, you know, it's molding would go down here, so the molding's missing too. There's some rust in the inner wheel wall. This side rocker panel's been, a new one's been welded on. Got issues with the glass. All the chrome needs to be replated in the whole car. Needs an interior, and I was looking for an interior project, but the dash needs a lot of work too. You can see the chrome is not real pretty, but it's got a radio and a clock. The rest of the ashtray here is in the trunk, and the bottom of the steering column is in the trunk. It does not have the original ignition switch. It's got the clutch, but the automatic clutch. Whoops, it has a running 331 cubic inch two barrel. It's got dual exhaust on it. There is the oil filter. The heater core leaks. The fuel system needs to be gone through. It's definitely got a lot of wearing that's chewed up, including back in there. But it's all here other than the air cleaner. So, yeah, it needs, needs a lot of the glass replaced, too. The headlight doors and the headlights are in the trunk. He was taking them out. This car had originally been 6 volt. It is a Colorado car. So you can kind of see the underside. This rocker panel, you can see where it's been Fold it up so the rocker panel has been done. It's got new exhaust. The underside's actually pretty good. The floor pans all look pretty solid in the car. The old, uh, I'll start it up here. It's got 61,000 miles on the odometer. The gauges actually work. The fuel gauge doesn't, but the ammeter is showing it's charging. It's got oil pressure, showing some temperature. Sounds like it has a little bit of an exhaust pipe leak at the manifold on this side. Make a nice car to fix up into a 
just a driver as is. It's not worth doing a restoration on. I'm going to pass on buying the car because of that. Um, it needs more money put into it than it would be worth restored. But it looked good, so I wanted to look it over. And I think somebody, you know, the price is reasonable on it. I think it's a fair price what he's asking for the car. You can hear the... The bottom of the air cleaner is the only part that's there. Those are the headlight doors. Some of the trim for the steering column. Door panel stuff. The Newport emblems. This old spare tire here is a Kelly. It's got newer tires, tires on the car, but this is a Kelly Springfield. So you can see the car, I think, is it's a fairly solid car. It'd make a good, good project for somebody, but not me. So that's where it would have said Windsor Newport. Might as well give him a video of us driving the damn thing. I'll drive it around the yard. Okay. All right. This car, this dog's out. Capable of 50 miles an hour. So it does run and drive as you can see. So if anyone else is interested, you know, I can forward the Craigslist ad to the car. <laughs> yeah, totally. spent some time in Washington DC because the owners were part of the Capital Yacht Club. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Chrysler's a fancy car. They had a Chrysler emblem there. Had one, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he says he has it up to 5560 on these roads. I totally believe it. There's never a car in sight. I don't no brakes. Yeah, with no brakes, he takes it out on these roads. Well, the parking brake works. You can use, that's a band around a drum on the back of the transmission. And those actually are your park because those transmissions have no park in them. And, uh, but yeah, to be able to just sail along here in that car, no problem. Because there's not another car in sight. This is really a rural area. I'll do a little video of the downtown Kingston when we get to it here in about four or five miles of nothingness. So now we're in downtown Kingston. Look at this, a Maytag service place. What a neat little town. Oh, and look, there's a car coming. <laughs> Two cars. This is, a, this is the most three. traffic I've seen in, God, an hour. <laughs> there's another car, wow. I could have gone like five times, but I wanted to do a little video here. Get some behind me. Yeah, I better go. Well, this is M46, so it's a little busier road. Just go down the Yep. 
Oh, I better not go too fast until we're... Like 45. Yeah, though. Usually these small town cops don't have anything better to do than patrol. So... Well, that was totally worth going to look at. I really enjoyed going to look at that car, even though it was, you know, two hours each way. It was totally worth it. And it was worth what he was asking for. It just was a bigger project than what I wanted. So hopefully somebody out there will fall in love with it and buy it and restore it because it was totally worth it. I know this isn't car related at all, but I love these old homes. Drove by the center way up here. And this is an amazing looking house. So I just stopped to get some video of it. I am not going to go any closer. I assume somebody lives there. It looks lived in. So yeah, pretty neat place. Kind of in the middle of nowhere still. So you can kind of I don't even know what intersection this is to be honest with you. It's just the middle of nowhere. I see a sign over there. This is the corner M53 and M90. Tom went and made some inquiries on the house. Now what about it? The girl at the gas station said it's called the Bruce Mansion and that the husband had killed his wife and kids in there and there's a cemetery behind this house and they had tours for paranormal ex uh, experiences and they can't get insurance on it now so they, they they decided to tear it down. They're going to bulldoze it. What a shame. Yeah, it's got some foundation issues, but what a neat old house. It's got a lot of stuff in it still. Looks fully furnished still. I mean, you never see this, this kind of architecture and stuff again. This stuff's all from the past. So they're going to tear this beautiful old home down. I mean, that, this house isn't beyond fixing up. It's in, It's got good bones to it still, it looks like, just from a quick walk around. That addition, it looks like, on the back, looks like it could use a bulldozing, but maybe there's a corpse in there. <laughs> Four electric meters, so they must have been built into an apartments at one time. Yeah, <laughs> needs this needs to be bulldozed. This addition. Oh, look at that cool old tree. Yeah, that would have to go. Yeah, it does. Wonder if there's any old cars here that we could buy and drive home. It wouldn't surprise me. I found them in places like this. The '58 Dodge came from a place like this. Look at the cupola, that's wrought iron. Yeah, See on the very top? Yep, right. If it shows up in the video. Oh my gosh. Right there. That's called a mansard roof. That's a French style. French Empire. There's an outhouse. Yep, with a moon on it. Is there any cars in there? Look at a portable sign. When was the last time you've seen a portable sign? They've been out against the law here in Michigan for what kind? portable sign right, right? Oh, I didn't know that that, okay, I see it, yeah. I don't see any cars in there. No, I don't either. Look at the size of that tree trunk, holy mackerel. Cottonwood tree. That tree's probably the, the, only about 90, 80, 90 years old. Probably just grew up from a sucker. Yeah, what a neat old house. Look at the blocks for the foundation. It's just beautiful. That would be an awesome project, but it needs, like I say, probably a million dollars put into it. It's more than what I have. Its power lines are in the way. So it's got two, two, three stories, three full stories, and it's got a cupola, also called a belvedere. And that's that one with the windows there where you could, you could look out, a tower. That glassed in part there is fake. That came, that came in later. A little oh, bit. yeah, totally. And then there was probably porch rails around yeah. there. 
I like the way the roof is curved out there, kind of rounded That's around the there. That's roof. Yeah. That's French Empire style. And the little doodads off the dormers. What a neat old house. Rackets, corbels, videos. I think you should buy that house, Tom, and restore it. Yeah, with all my extra money. Yeah. Let's yeah. see, I can't afford to put money in my Eldorado and build a gas tank up. But I'll, I'll buy this house and restore it. <laughs> Let it suck all the remaining money you have up. Because huh? I bought my lotto tickets to buy it. Oh, okay. So when you win the lotto, this is going to be your new home. I would live in town here. Double arch windows and then a little round thing above there. Yeah, Tom was just pointing out the dormers are rounded there. And Someone sprayed this house and did a crappy job. Flat it's top the there. Yeah. It's called the Bruce Mansion. Bruce Mansion, okay. Supposedly everyone was murdered. I don't know, I didn't and, see a cemetery. In and like I say, we're at M90 and M53. Do you know what the name of this town is? Or these cor four corners are, I should say. This isn't a town. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Yeah, this is next door. So if anyone wants to buy it and move it, Pretend you're Henry Ford and relocate the house. There that it house, is. That house is probably about 8,000 square foot. It's huge, isn't it? Maybe seven. It's amazing what you find when you're on a road trip out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, totally. 66 300. So 72,000 miles on the clock. 72,000. It's a yeah, it's a nice looking car. It's out of my price range. Yeah. Yeah. Oh look, they cruised Harper Avenue. I was there last night. That was last year's. Yeah, it's a nice looking car. That would have to go. Yeah, that's stupid. Nice, clean, solid car. Yeah, need a new top. I want to look at the... Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I want to look at that 61 Chevy too. Oh wow, this thing looks pretty original. Is it Bel Air? Yeah, yeah Bel Air. It's got an automatic. Sorry about the reflection, I don't get a very good... It has the 283 emblem on the front grille. Yeah, it's not a bad shape, the car. I don't know if this one's for sale or not. It doesn't have any for sale stuff on it. I would presume that it's an Arizona car. Yeah, it's solid. Looks really solid. Well, again, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. And again, thank you for watching. And I do plan on... Uh, Having my thousand su subscriber giveaway, I think I'm going to do that on Saturday. I'll p or yeah, I'll, po I'll post it uh, Saturday in the evening, Eastern Standard Time, maybe about I don't know, sometime in the evening after like seven or eight. If I'm if I'm here, I'm no guarantees exact time, but that's I'm going to try and post it on Saturday.